Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my first time talking to you like this, so I'm a bit nervous and I hope I don't sound too ridiculous. So I wanted to talk you through my drawing and this will be a time-lapse drawing like always, but this time with me talking about it. I hope you like it. You can let me know in the comments if it's too annoying. You can also just turn the sound off and listen to some good music instead of talking, uh, talking me talking. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I'm so sorry. So, uh, this is my first Inktober drawing this year and Inktober is my favorite season of the year because I love doing ink drawings all the time, but during Inktober everybody is doing so many amazing ink drawings and I'm so inspired and a bit jealous and this drives me. So, the topic for the first Inktober day was a fast and I wanted to draw a girl on a bike and bikes are fucking complicated. I'm s sorry about swearing. So um, I tried to sketch some bikes before when I was outside in the city with friends. I tried to sketch my bike. So you see uh, on the top left my little sketchbook where there are some bike drawings. You only see one of them. And I don't know if it helped, but probably a bit. I also have on my screen some references of bikes and people riding bikes, so it's not completely out of my head what I'm drawing here. So as you see, I already started sketching and I already advanced so far because it's a time lapse. So I start with the basic shapes to try to fit everything into the picture and then I basically concentrate myself on the character and the body shapes and the movement of uh, the character and also the face expression is very important to me. So this is a girl riding her bike and uh, flashing her panties while doing so. This happens to me a lot while I drive, uh, ride my bike and I don't know, actually I'm fine with it but many people uh, give nasty comments about it and then I'm pretty pissed. So this is basically me feeling bad. Um, yeah, for the anatomy, I do a lot of studies and I do a lot of live drawings, so it helps. So most of the stuff I can draw from my head. But I, at some point, I was absent because I went to the other room and uh, stood in front of the mirror and tried this pose just to look how far I can turn my body and how I would hold my arm. So yeah, this is why I draw girls so much because I can check the anatomy on myself. <laughs> yeah, and also my, my idea was uh, to add more animals to my drawings in general. And uh, this is why I try to fit at least one animal into every Inktober drawing I will be doing. Uh, let's see if it works out. So here I went, wanted to give her a, a tiny little dog but a really angry one, so I looked at pictures of Pomeranians and now that I have uploaded the picture, a lot of people told me that I, it looks like a cat, so <laughs> whatever you like, it can be a cat too. Pomeranians are something in between cats and dogs anyways. So now I'm trying to detail the bike and I hate myself a bit because it's so hard to draw bikes. Why did I do it to myself? But the studies helped, so I know like a bit about them and it kind of worked out in the end. I don't, don't put too many details in the sketch and try to refine it when inking. This is what I'm starting right now. I'm using the Tachikawa Manga School G pen. I think this is how it's called. I will put a link into the description or just the name. And it's one of my favorite pens to draw lines. It's a nib pen. It almost feels like a real nib with ink, but still is pretty practical to bring it along everywhere where you sketch. Uh, then I realized that the paper is not that nice to the nib pen and started using a brush pen instead. This is a Zebra Fuda pen. A pretty stiff brush pan which can be used for pretty fine lines too and it works better on this paper so I did the most of 
the lines with this pen and some details with the Tachikawa one. As you can see, I am switching between them and using both of them. By the way, the pencil I used for the um, sketch before that was a um, no, it was a color raised pencil in light blue, and I like using colored pencils instead of normal pencils because they have a nicer feel to them and everything looks colorful and it's easy to remove those colors afterwards in Photoshop after you scan the drawing. So here I am detailing the shit out of it. Um, basically I follow the ideas that I laid out already with, with the sketch and then try to refine them more. I look a bit at references, I have a photo of my bike open on the screen and try to not to get lost in details because I'm not, it will not be a technical drawing of a bike anyways and also I wanted to make the whole picture look like it is in movement so I try not to make the lines too stiff Oh my god, it was so hard drawing the tire. I remember it. Yeah, I'm lining away. I think uh, doing outlines is pretty um, meditational in a sort of way. I really enjoy it. I listen to good music while I do it. And I actually, if you would hear the original sound of this video, I would be singing along. Good that I erased that really important as color on the painties because I'm a badass. I actually draw myself a lot in my sketches. It's not because I'm so in love with myself. Maybe I am, but it's just, I don't know, a lot of sketches come from my feelings that I'm feeling in the moment. Uh, and they make me draw this stuff and this is why it's harder for me to kind of put this kind of feelings on other characters than on myself so when I'm in my comfort zone I'm drawing myself a lot by the way in between I am switching to another brush pen sometimes as you can see this is the Pento pocket brush one of my favorite brush pens of all times Actually, all the free pens I'm using here are my free favorite pens, actually. And um, the Pentel brush pen is much softer than the Zebra one. And you can do much more dramatic lines with them. So, as you can see, I put some red acrylic ink into the palette. And now I'm using it with a water brush, Pentel water brush, to... Um, and to make my hair red as it has to be and also add some other red details. Uh, the ink I use is... Um, I forgot. But I guess any ink is fine. You can also use watercolor and it works pretty fine. But I will write down the ink into the description. I'm so sorry. So my bike, of course, is also red, so I'm coloring it red. And also the lips and the mouth of a dog and this girl. I'm trying to like blend the color with more or less water to get different red tones and not only the same. Now I'm adding some hair strands afterwards. Trying to erase some of the blue. It doesn't, uh, this pencil doesn't let it be, uh, uh, you can't really erase it like without any trace. So there is still some blue remaining, but as I, as I said, you can remove it in Photoshop. So now I took my uh, Copic markers and these are neutral grays and I am shading a bit in gray. So I wanted the um, whole drawing only to be black and grays and a bit of and red highlights for the hair and the stuff. 
So now you will see my, me dropping my fucking dark Copic on the dog and now I'm trying to blend it away so nobody sees it. As you can see, you still can see that little spot there. I'm a bit angry at myself about that. But yeah, I could disguise it a bit. Yeah, so these are, I think, four different neutral grays by Copic. The one, three, five, and seven, I guess. Shadow of the bike and a light gray. And basically when I use Copic, I uh, first use the lightest color and then add darker colors and kind of blend them into each other. It doesn't work on all papers, though you have to try on different papers. Not all of them work well with Copics. So then correcting some stuff with a white pen and signing and I'm done. Oh my god. So I hope it was fine listening to me. And you were, you were not too annoyed. Please let me know how you like it. And thank you for watching.